Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome back to Besame. Today we are going to be reading Rumpel Skin. <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin. Once upon a time, there lived a miller who had a beautiful daughter. He was always boasting about her, and he told everyone how clever and lovely she was. One day, the king was out hunting, and he happened to call at the mill on his way home. As usual, the miller began to talk about his lovely daughter. He even boasted that she could spin straw into gold. The king was delighted to hear such wonderful news. Bring your daughter to the palace tomorrow, he said. I will see if what you say is true. Next day, the girl was brought before the king. At once, he took her to a large room, which was full of straw. I want all this straw to be changed into gold by tomorrow morning, he ordered. Then he walked out, shut the door, and left her alone in the room. The poor girl did not know what to do. At last, she sat down and began to cry. Suddenly, the door opened, and in walked a strange little man. He was wearing a green suit, a green hat with a feather in it, and the funniest shoes you ever saw. They were long and narrow, and had toes, which were twisted like corkscrews. Good day, he said. Why are you crying? Oh, replied the girl, the king has ordered me to spin all this straw into gold and I do not know how to do it. Will you give me your pretty necklace if I do it for you? He asked. Certainly, replied the girl, and she gave him her necklace. The strange little man sat down at the spinning wheel and began to spin. Whirr, whirr, whirr. The straw began to turn to gold. Whirr, whirr, whirr. More gold and more gold. While he worked, he sang this little song. Round about, round about, lo and behold. Reel away, reel away, straw into gold. Soon, the room was full of gold and the little girl was very happy. When the strange little man was finished, he rose from his seat and slipped quietly out of the room. Early next morning, the king came to see her. He was very surprised when he saw the room full of gold. He was a very greedy king. He wanted her to make more gold so that he would be very rich. The king took her to another room which was full of straw. He asked her to change all the straw into gold. When he left the room, the poor girl sat down and cried. Suddenly the door opened, and who should walk in but this strange little man? Why do you cry? he asked. Did I not change this straw into gold for you? Yes, replied the girl, but the king wants more straw changed into gold. Will you give me that pretty ring on your finger if I do it for you? he asked. Certainly, replied the girl, and she gave him her ring. Again, the strange little man sat down and began to spin. Again, the straw was changed into gold. When the king came to see her next morning, he was pleased to find another store of gold. He took her to a much bigger room which was full of straw and said, Spin all this straw into gold and you shall be my queen. When he left the room, the poor girl sat down and cried. A few minutes later, the strange little man entered and said, Why do you cry? Twice I have changed all the straw into gold for you. Yes, replied the girl, but the king wants more straw changed into gold. This is to be the last time, and if I do it, I shall be queen. If you become queen, will you give me your first child? He asked. The poor girl stared at him in surprise. What a strange thing to ask. At first she could not make up her mind, but at last she said, Yes, I will give you my first child. Once again, the strange little man sat down to spin, and once again the straw was changed into gold. When the king came next morning, 
he was delighted to find another great store of gold. Not long afterwards, they were married and she became queen. A few years later, a child was born and everybody was very happy. The queen had forgotten this strange little man and her promise to him. Then one day, as the young queen watched her baby in the cot, the door opened and in walked the strange little man. I have come for your child, he said. You must now keep your promise. No, 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 replied the queen. You can have all the riches in the kingdom, but do not take away my baby. Keep your promise, cried the little man. Give me the child. The queen sat down and began to cry. She begged him not to take the baby from her. At last, the little man said, very well, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you can find out my name in three days, I will not take your child. The poor queen spent the whole night thinking of all the names she had ever heard. When the little man came back next day, she was ready with a big list of names. Is your name John? She asked. No, he replied. James? No. Robert? No. William? No. George? No. Thomas? No. Richard? No. Peter? No. David? No. Joseph? No. The queen gave many more names, but to every name the strange little man said no. The next day, servants were sent out all over the kingdom for more names, but still they could not find it. On the third and last day, one of her servants came to her and said, High in the mountains, I came across a lonely little house. There, I saw a strange little man, all dressed in green and wearing long shoes with curly toes. He was dancing round his little house and singing this song. Merrily the feast I'll make, today I'll brew, tomorrow bake. Merrily I'll dance and sing, for next day will a stranger bring. Little does my lady dream that Rumpelstiltskin is my name. The queen jumped with joy. She was sure that it was the same strange little man who came to see her. When the strange little man arrived, she asked, Is your name Short Legs? No. Big Ears? No. Long Nose? No. Are you Rumpelstiltskin? When he heard his name, the strange little man stomped his feet with rage. You have cheated me, he cried. A witch must have told you. A witch must have told you. Suddenly, he dashed to the door and ran out of the palace. No one ever saw him again. The queen was delighted and said, Thank goodness we found out his name. The strange little man will never come back again, and my baby will not be taken away from me. The end. <laughs> wow, that story was something. When we were children, we would read that one again and again, right? That was a favorite one. So today, I'm not even going to say I hope you like this story because I know you did. So please remember to share the video with your friends, hit the thumbs up, and subscribe if you have not yet done so. And when you subscribe, make sure the word subscribe changes from red to gray, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.